Can I just briefly speak about the walk? Okay, I've been uh, advised to start the walk at a time where I can end the walk when Parliament Parliament is open, so that Lord Pearson can ask us in to the House of Lords at the end of the walk. Can so I'm hoping to readjust the timing of that walk. So I'm gonna organize a date towards the end of August. It will give us more time to raise the funds that we need. At the moment we've got £1,600, £1,665. We need 18 grand. So please people share this What is happening now is the Telford girls. Okay, girls up and down the country are still being, when I say girls, I mean children, are still being groomed. So therefore, I want to walk from Bradford to Telford to, uh, to hide like the hideous crimes that happened there. Anne has agreed kindly to do a speech in Bradford to start the walk under Article 18 of the, of the Human Rights Act, the freedom of choice and conscience, the freedom to express your religion or no religion freely. walk that um, I intend to do from Bradford to no, number 10 in a Downing Street ending on the 23rd of June. Of that walk, so I'm going to organize a date towards the end of August. It will give us more time to raise the funds that we need. Um, I think it's going to take you about two and a bit weeks. 17 uh -huh. days. 17 days, hopefully. Um, the go fund me target is £25,000. And um, the go fund me target is £25,000. And the reason is this, right? We need that amount for accommodation, for food, for security um and also for equipment and uh there'll probably be 10 of us walking the route i can't have more than 10 because then it's classed as a protest however if people wanna meet us in every town that we enter please do so and uh, i will inform 
people of what towns that we will be in and, and the date. This is a risk. This is why I have to have security. I can't say what kind of security as it is at the moment because it would be counterproductive. Also, I ended up with a, a ticket because I overstayed my stay for two hours. So I ended up with a, a ticket which I was expecting. And I want to thank one individual again um, from Ireland who handed me a £20 note towards the uh, parking ticket. And also another individual that handed me £10 towards uh, the cost of the walk that I intend to do. So yeah, it was great to have that, especially at times when you are struggling, especially at this time that I'm struggling because I'm having to rely on my personal friend from the church, a personal friend who's been helping helping me out with food. The trouble is I'm in this sticky situation because I've been loose with my money when I had it, you know, but, um, I'm, I'm too loose with it, treating other people so it, it gets me into a sticky a situation. I should have now when I, I look at it now, was that a need for me to do that? No, it wasn't. People weren't starving or whatever. I could have put that away for a rainy day. Anyway, it's happened. Here I am. As I was speaking to Anne earlier on, I've got a pacemaker. So I need, I need to start training. All right, so I need to take take time off work. I, I might have to hand in my some notice in order to start training. So I can't start training until I am sure that I've got the funds in. So hopefully we will have that in by uh, April. So you, what is your starting date? Starting date, um, again, I will let people know closer to the date because of security and also because I will be also speaking to the press, the ITV channel for the BBC. There'll be an embargo on information until it gets closer to the, to the date. Now, imagine a million people being landed to a standstill. It's only when you bring a city to a standstill that these people listen to the cries of people. Marching alone isn't enough. Well, if you can get a million people in London, you're going to have to tell me how you did it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, I always say expect the unexpected. doing a live feed and also I'm hoping to get in touch with Tommy and ask him if he wants to be a part him, of that. Ask him now we'll tweet him and Yeah, Tommy, <laughs> Robinson and Kevin, you are Tommy, all right. I'm not trying to, uh, how, how can I put this that's not crude or rude or, I'm not trying to lick your bum, all right. <laughs> I'm not trying to lick your bum, right, okay? But you are an amazing guy, very smart, articulate, and you've done a lot, okay? And it'll be good for you to come along because
one pound, two pound, five pound, ten pounds, whatever you can afford, every penny counts. Just put it in there. But I want accountability as well. So every penny that is spent, I want to be accountable to you, the people that are helping out. So I will have receipts. I Any cash that is a spare cash, right? What I want to do with that cash is, is to buy a, a PA uh, sort of speakers because when we had a, uh, a march in Newcastle recently, you know, with the with the vets, the speakers weren't all that great, and it, the same uh, was in Scotland as well. So whatever cash. That is spare from that. I want to buy a nice PA speakers so other groups, not just us, not just the vets, can use them as well.